you're your Drew Gil Christian, yeah, I know, yeah. I know in my head. I know my hair has changed. Oh shit, shocker! But don't don't worry. I'm gonna talk about it more towards like the middle of the video or something. Maybe a bit later, but I will I will get onto it. If you haven't, yeah yeah, sweet. So today I'm gonna be talking about one of my college stories. So before I start, I just wanted to have a message from my sponsor of the day, which is the Student Room, and they have an online tool which can help you find courses for university. So if you're struggling, like I know a lot of my friends who uh, were, are going to university right now and are looking for getting a placement for next. year and stuff they they are struggling and I know this tool has helped them so I mean if you want to head down there you can go check it out and that would be really sick they asked me to make a college story and I mean I was planning on making a video about this anyway at some point so I thought why not link a couple things into this one video basically I uh, I dropped out of college and a lot of people do you know why and some people don't know why if you've been watching my channel for a really long time you, you probably would have been able to figure out why ages ago I don't I don't really like talking about it but I had a really bad experience while I was in college uh, it really really fucked my mental health up and stuff I did do a video on it uh, I, I don't try to bring it up that much because I don't I don't like thinking about it because it gives me quite bad anxiety but it gave me anxiety to the point where I, I didn't feel like I could be in college anymore but that's not like how the story just sort of went because uh, my one of the main reasons why I didn't like the college I went to and I wish I'd uh, had an option to, to find a different one was because it felt so much like school and I live in such a remote area that there was only a few options and they're all kind of the same sort of thing they, they don't like people leaving they, they didn't really understand a lot of stuff and it took me a very long time to convince my teachers to let me leave and they my, my main idea was that I would I would take a break and I would just start college the next year and then you know I would I'd be able to I'd be able to do everything fine <laughs> um, and only one of my teachers let me uh, drop out and they were the ones who sort of really spoke to me like an adult and spoke to the other teachers and was like, yeah, you know, I think I think this could be best for him. But that's not just like my end of, of my college. That's just that's not just where it like uh, ended. That's not really the story that I wanted to talk about. That's just that was just my first experience with with dropping out of college. I then went to a second college. Uh, the next year I did do that plan. I, I had an apartment in Basingstoke and one of their agreements was also to go to college. And I was like, yep, yeah, fine. You know, I was planning on doing that anyway so I went to a different college in Basingstoke and it wasn't actually like that school vibe I didn't mind going they didn't care if you couldn't turn up to a lesson because you weren't feeling too good and stuff and it it, it sort of made me feel a lot better and it felt like a better option although uh, I only ended up being there for three weeks <laughs> um, I think I went to like three lessons and I, I walked into the class and my teacher sort of pulled me aside after the lesson finished and they, they were like, so why, why are you here? Like you've got your YouTube and stuff and you should be able to earn money. Do you really want to be in this town for two years going to college when you could be out doing a job and doing what you love? And ultimately that was what made me drop out of college the second time and it made me feel very very good about myself in the sense of I, I actually felt like I could pursue something whereas when I, I, I don't know when I was in that first college um, and I, it felt like school and I had the, all the problems and the anxiety come on I didn't even have anyone talk to me like a, a human being until I, I left and it was weird going to this other college and then suddenly being spoken to like an adult from the very beginning and people being very straight up with me and feeling like I can actually like achieve something with my life uh, even if I didn't go to college whereas all of the the other people in the other college were just like no you know like you, you you've got to you got to stay here it doesn't matter how how bad your anxiety is you can't wait another year you got to fucking you got to stay here because that's life and I was just like ah oh. that's um really what what happened when I when I dropped out of college both times I get a lot of comments saying did you go to college what what education do you have or like even just hate comments which are just like oh you don't have education you don't have this I did I did pretty well in my GCSEs uh, that's pretty much the only sort of form of, of like higher education that I got to so I mean 
what are you gonna do? I mean, I, I think I've done quite a bit since since I left college. I think I've done pretty well for myself. So, so if there are any previous teachers from uh, my, my college, that, uh, second college that I went to that are watching this, thank you very much for giving me the courage to do what I want in life. That was that was pretty sweet. Okay. Um, so <laughs> the other thing that I wanted to talk about, which a lot of people ask me a lot is like why why do I smoke and why do I why did I have my prescription in LA and stuff and I think I sort of have covered it sometimes but I mean that initial anxiety that I got when I left uh, college and when all of that stuff happened if you uh, and and I got the anxiety when I when I was leaving that first college uh, I was on a lot of medication and swapping to, to cannabis was was my the best option for me because it's the only thing that hasn't made me feel like a blob um, the only thing I, I need to talk about is my hair if you haven't seen my last video definitely go and check it out because I mean <laughs> <laughs> so much shit happened and you'll understand to, to be honest I haven't had dreadlocks for a while I had my hat on for fucking time you will be able to find them though if you if you're cunning enough you will be able to find these dreadlocks online somewhere and when you find them let me know tweet me when you find the dreadlocks um, <laughs> but for now, my hair's kind of like this. I've got hair tucked behind my ear because I don't know how I want it to be at the moment. So I'm gonna get it cut and stuff and see what works and shit. Uh, who knows? So if you also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. If you want to check out the student room, who like, you know, I, I have much love for the student room for sponsoring this video because I got to do like three stories in one and also I, I, I get to promote a handy tool which a lot of you can use so their link is in the description and I think I think that's all I needed to say peace